Hey, this is Kyle from Sportscast, and today we're going to be showing how to get your data from Live XML directly into vMix for production use. So, in a previous video, you would have seen how we can get data into Live XML from a live device. As you can see, we have a score link running off a Dactronics controller getting data right now. And you can see that the data is in Live XML. So, once you have that set up, you're going to go up to here to output and you want to turn it to on XML file only. Once you've done that, you want to go up to File and hit Live File Type and make sure that it is selected to XML. You'll see a check mark there. Once you have done that, you'll go to Fly File Path and you'll save this a place where you'll remember. So we're going to save it right on the desktop and we're going to call it Test XML 1. As you can see, it's updated. And if you look at our desktop, you'll see a file named Test XML 1. So now we're going to go to vMix. We're going to open up this. It should be down in the bottom right hand corner near overlay. It'll be three light white lines and you'll find data sources manager underneath there. Once you do that, you'll hit the plus sign and you'll add an XML data source. You'll browse and find the file that we just created, which we named it XML test one, test XML one, and then the X path will be info. After that, you'll hit OK and you should see your data populate. As you can see, the clock is now populated there along with the score. This will not be real time. It will only be real time once you input it into the production. As you can see, it's updating every 1,000 milliseconds.